Holy digital updates, Batman. I, I didn't want to expect to be doing an update video to this as soon as I uploaded the other video. Anyway, so I went digging a little more. Um, and I came across uh, just a couple of tidbits regarding the Adventure Tri-Dub on With the Will. Why I didn't check there first is beyond me, but, you know, um, you get caught up in the moment. Uh, you know, rationale doesn't always come into play. So, there's an interview, which I'll link below, with the Eleven Art CEO, and uh, a bit, uh, some bits are clarified about it. The Fathom screenings will have some sort of bonus content, all right? Uh, he declined to say what they are, but he suggests they'll be telling us soon, all right? So there'll be bonus content in the movie for the English dub. Uh, okay. <laughs> for the English dub screenings, there'll be bonus content. Um, does that mean the Japanese version is going to get a remastered edition, like, down the road or something? Uh, okay. Fine. The dub is being done in the tone and style of the Japanese version. So that's great news for all involved. They're declining to say anything about the cast other than some of the original cast will be returning. And more on this later. They are in talks to see how and if they can do other parts of Try in theatres. So it may be a case that only Chapter 1 hits hits the theatre and Chapters 2, 3, 4, uh, 5 and 6 uh, hit the you know straight to Blu-ray DVD um, scenario that I talked about earlier. So that's kind of interesting. Um but thanks to various uh, information sources, we no now know that certain cast members are returning. Uh, the dub is being recorded at Studiopolis, the studio that has recorded all of the Digimon dubs since Movie 4. Um, the dub director is currently unknown. His first or last name is Ryan, and he's also acting as the audio engineer. This may be Ryan Johnston, but we don't know. Um... I don't know who that is. I'm just going off what's in front of me here. Um, so if you're privy to the ins and outs of the Animu industry, then you probably know who this guy is, and that may or may not be a big deal to you guys. Um, so as we said earlier, so Jeff Nimoy has confirmed he is returning as Tentamon. Okay. Laura Summer confirmed that she was returning as Patamon. Uh, but this information was later removed. Summer had been replaced in Movie 4 as dubbed by Bridget Hoffman, who played Padamon in Frontier. Now, here's the thing about that. I wouldn't take that to mean anything, because different Padamon. You know, it, it, the Padamon in Frontier is not the Padamon in Adventure. Uh, playing Padamon in Frontier should not give you an automatic license to play Padamon across the franchise. Shut up! I know I was only talking about Paul St. Peter in the last video. Or was I? Was that the first take of the video I did? Bollocks. Paul St. Peter is the exception to the rule. <laughs> okay. Um, just in case, I, I don't think I touched on it in the last video. Um, it may have been the first take of that video I did. But um, Paul St. Peter has been pretty much every Leomon in the franchise, except for Bancho Leomon and possibly Mad Leomon. So, you know, exception to the rule. Um but if Laura Summer confirmed she was returning as Padamon, I would say I would take that. And the fact, the reason it had to be taken down is non-disclosure agreements until the company announces it themselves. Uh, Joshua Seth has teased if he will or won't return as Ty. Uh, but roughly a week ago did confirm he was in talks. So that that's great. Um, at least one potential fake cast list shows uh, Seth as Ty where another shows Jason Spizak, who played Ty in movie four. So that's something. Um, oh, so Bridget Hoffman. Somewhere had been replaced in movie four is dubbed by Bridget Hoffman. Oh, so the Bridget Hoffman played Padamon in Reve Revenge of Diablomon and then went on to play Padamon in Frontier. Okay, I missed her. I read that as Frontier's movie. Um, I don't think Padamon was it. I don't think 
Mama. No, I don't think that Padamon was in that movie anyway. So, wow. Sorry, it's it's like nearly 11. So I'm, I'm, just, I'm trying to make sense of everything and stave off tiredness. Um, so Mona Marshall, as we said, is back as Izzy, uh, as again confirmed by Jeff Nimoy. Uh, Colleen O'Shaughnessy is back as Sora, confirmed by Nimoy, and later Colleen herself in multiple Twitter posts. So, that's fun. Uh, Johnny Young Bosch is playing TK, according to Jeff Nimoy. There is some mild question based on potentially fake cast lists if he may be playing Matt. Uh, I don't like that idea at all. Look, I, JYB, Adam, the frog... The second Mastodon. I love you, I. Uh, Ichigo, I love you. Dude, I love you to bits. But, uh, remember what I said in part one? This has to be an all or nothing scenario. Yes, I also did say it's maybe, you know, it's not so bad replacing one or two. But, I suppose if he plays TK, it's not so bad. I don't want him playing Matt. I, no, it, Matt has to be Michael Reyes because I think the way Michael Reyes plays Matt it suits the tri Matt so much more. The the adventure and adventure tri Matts be fan you know um, are fantastic. Zero twos Matt, eh, you know, not as grumpy or not as moody, um, if I recall correctly. But uh, the I think if you bring Michael Reyes back in to play Matt. It, ha- it has to be Seth, Joshua Seth for Ty and Michael Reyes for Matt. Johnny Young Bosch as TK. TK has had two voice actors already between young TK and older TK because, you know, puberty was a thing. Uh, didn't affect Kari so much. So uh, I'm more okay with him playing TK than I am Matt. I want him to stay far away from Matt as much as I love the guy. Um, Doug Erholtz, who played TK in Zero Two, here we go, is playing someone. We don't currently know who. One of the potentially fake cast lists shows him as playing TK. And I find that interesting because if Doug Erholtz, who played TK in Zero Two, is coming back to play TK, then does that mean Johnny Young Bosch is playing Matt? And I sigh. Um, Laura Jill Miller, uh, who played Kari, has made a post on Twitter that seems to suggest she isn't aware of anything happening. Now, keep in mind, this could be grain of salt, surprise stuff, non-disclosure agreements could be a thing. All we can do is be hopeful. Michael Reyes has done the same. And that saddens me. Because you've already... Because if... Doug Erholtz is playing someone, but a potentially fake cast list shows him as TK, and that means Johnny Young Bosch might be playing Matt, but Johnny Young Bosch is playing TK, according to Jeff Nimoy. I hope Reyes is trolling because Reyes loves Matt. Like you think you you I you think you're a fan of Matt. Reyes loves that character to death, and. Uh, I just it has to be Joshua Seth and uh, Michael Reyes for me to the original Ty and Matt. You have to bring both of them in. Um, I I think you know, people go into the theater and they hear sound alikes and they're gonna go, ah, that's not my nostalgia. The hell have you done? Uh, you know, just throw money at them. Do do whatever's needed, please. Look, I already lost out with Christopher Eccleston not coming back for the Doctor Who anniversary. Don't make me go through this again with Digimon, please. Um, Todd Habercorn has mentioned in, mentioned in an interview he just recorded for Digimon, which certainly has to be try. We don't know who he's playing. Uh, two potentially fake cast lists say he's playing Joe. And... Well, there goes that. You know, I... I'm... I, I just... No. Please. Just... Ah, <laughs> uh, no. I want... Uh, I want the... Ah, uh, Polymer. I want Polymer back. Um, 
But at the same time, Joe does nothing in Reunion, so maybe it won't be so bad. Again, I mean, it's as I said in the first video, right? You've got eight kids. If you're replacing two or three of them, it may not be so bad, especially with the way uh, Reunion is paced. If they're looking at dubbing, um, if they're looking, uh, if they're looking at dubbing Determine and Confession and everything else, then it might be an issue. But for Reunion, if we focus on Reunion at the moment, Joe does nothing of substance that having Habercorn play him may not be the worst thing in the world. I would prefer his original VA, and we all would. But if sacrifices have to be made, I would rather the active characters keep their original voicing. And we'll worry about the rest of them then with chapter 2, 3, 4. Um, based on comments made by the director to Nimoy, we should expect that most of the kids are getting new actors and most of the Digimon actors are returning. Oh, so it's, it's it may end up just being half and half which makes me cry. Uh, you know, that, that, that makes me sad. Um, one of the two potentially fake cast lists have floated out to IMDb. Some of these are right, but the um, moderator of the website has said, after speaking to a few people in private, some of them are for sure wrong. They are only listed above as related to those actors' characters above. Um, so we've, uh, things we've discussed. Um yeah that's a bummer like by most of it, like nothing there about mimi so is felice sampler not coming back um that also makes me sad because i mean like i love felice as nanami in data squad and obviously as mimi originally um and hearing uh and with mimi being such a troll in um adventure try i think it would just would, would have worked out so well and that we're not getting that we potentially i mean they could turn around next week and go oh yeah mimi as played by felice sampler um i my all or nothing opinion is starting to surface half and half i'm not I'm not sold on. Okay, fine. Mimi eh, doesn't really do anything in Reunion. I mean, she shows up at the end. I mean, she, I mean, she trolls Ty for half of the movie and then shows up at the end and gives everyone gummy sweets. It's not really until um, Determination that she has a main role. So I'm hoping they're able to work something out by then. Um, or if this thing is meant to be airing in, what, we're in July now, so August, uh, two months, if it is meant to be airing in two months, I hope they get their shit together. Now, but, you know, it could be on Sampler's part, maybe she's just got, um, <clears throat> other obligations, that she, and she's unable to make the dates for the recording, I mean, it could be something as simple as that, you know, and maybe it is, maybe that's the case for the other actors, but I know Reyes, Michael Reyes wants to come back for Matt. I mean, he's very vocal about that on his Twitter. Um, and Joshua Seth, again, as I said before, has said multiple times that he'd love to come back and play Ty. And if he's in talks to do that, then, you know, you know, fingers crossed we get as much of the nostalgia as we can. I, I guess that's what it amounts to at the moment. There was something else I wanted to touch on, but we're coming up on 15 minutes, so I don't want to drag this out any further. Uh, Toei was at Anime Expo showing off the Part 1 promotional videos with a new song that appears to be based on the theme from the old dub. So, no, we're not getting, we're not getting the new version of Butterfly. We're getting a try version of Digimon, Digital Monsters, uh, I don't know how to feel about that. The, it sounds terrible, and I don't have enough time to play it here. So maybe we'll touch on that in a third video. Or maybe I'll just try and rip it and upload it, and you guys can have fun with that. But until then, all the best. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe for more, 
and I'll uh, I'll talk to you very soon. Take care, guys.